Hello everybody and welcome to 5 Minute React. This is the show where I take a topic and I have to give to give my opinion on it in just 5 minutes. So carrying on with Doctor Who Series 10, as I said I was going to do, do 5 Minute React for the whole series uh, of Doctor Who this year. Um, we are going to do episode 2 today, which is Smile, written by Frank Cortrell Boyce. And the time shall start now. Okay, now, for me, Smile was an interesting episode. Um, but, oh, 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 for God's sake, the stopwatch has failed to start. Okay, let's try again. Okay, uh, time starts now. Good, it's working this time. Okay, so, Smile. Mix, for me, of both new ideas and old ideas. Now, the idea of a human colony uh, going, you know, leaving Earth, going somewhere, throws themselves in cryogenic or in suspended animation isn't a new idea. It's been done before. Um, the one that springs to mind for me is the Ark in Space back in the 1970s, 70s, um, uh, with Tom Baker. But it is an idea, though, that Doctor Who's done many times, and to be honest, I don't really have a problem seeing this idea again. Um, but it, it also, though, I still think that it does have that very Ark in Space feel, in the sense that there are humans who've put themselves in to the suspended animation or into these pods. The Doctor and his companion arrive, um, wondering where everyone is, and then they find out, oh, they're in suspended animation. Motion. Motion. Oh, they're waking up. up. Um, and, and they've woken up to find that there is a threat here that they, that they then have to work with the Doctor to thwart. So not exactly a new concept. But I do like the way that Smile was done. Um, you know, I like the way that for most of the episode, it's just the Doctor and Bill, and n without the interruption of other people. And I think that in itself was very interesting, you know. When I think back to Series 9, and I think of uh, Heaven Sent, I think it was called, that episode when it was just the Doctor, for pretty much the whole episode, I thought that was a brilliant new idea. And I feel like that it's playing on that concept of having fewer characters to deal with, and and that, and which is something that Doctor Who hasn't really done very often. And I think it's a new idea that it's new idea really, and I think it's very nice, and it's certainly very well done here. Obviously, uh, our main villain for this, well, I say villain, they're not. I mean, I mean, I mean, they're not intentionally evil, but we have the emoji bots, as they're called. A bit of a generic name, if you ask me, emoji bots. But well, um, but we have the, the, the Vardy or whatever it is. Those those robots. So in, interesting. I think it was an interesting concept. I, when I think of those little robots, though, I do think of whatever those things were called from the Empty Child and the Doctor dances, uh, way back in series one with Christopher Eccleston. And I do think something like that, you know, those sort of medical microscopic robots. And again, that's kind of... So again, it's kind of a not new idea. But I like the way that they've been used here. And I like the way that they make up this city and that they can just come out of anywhere and kill you. You know, that is really threatening. And even though they weren't really... I was a little disappointed in the fact that they weren't really used very much to be threatening. You know, you know, for most of the episode, the Doctor and Bill are able to just, you know, they're able to just waltz around free, you know. And I don't understand why the emoji bots needed to chase after them and actually catch up with the Doctor and Bill in order to kill them, you know. Why not just send the Vardy straight after them? They'd be dead. I guess I suppose, I guess I, I guess that the only real explanation for that would be that we wouldn't have much of a series if that happened because they'd both be dead. So... <laughs> I'm guessing that that's the reason why. Oh blimey, I'm, right, I'm running out of time. But, so I better sum up. Sum up. Basically, I think that Smile was, a, was for me, quite a good episode. I quite enjoyed watching it, but in some ways it did disappoint me. I think there were one, there were some ideas that aren't exactly new, and I just don't feel like the emoji bots actually did 
enough to pose a threat. I, I feel like the Doctor and Bill were able to walk around too much without being interrupted. And while that in itself is slightly new and it plays to the advantage of the fact that the episode doesn't necessarily go how the audience might expect it to, but it does get a bit stale after a while when you think, oh, I'm, you know, you know, you know, you're really, you're expecting some action. You're expecting, you're expecting the Doctor and Bill to have to run away from them. And apart from that scene in the middle of the episode, they didn't really have to do that much, you know. So I have mixed feelings about this episode. There were things about it that I like, and things about it about it that I also thought well, maybe a little bit stale, possibly used ideas or things that weren't possibly used to their fullest extent. Time's up. So just to um, finish my sum up here. Um, so yeah. Good enough episode, had some nice new concepts, and also recycled some old concepts, mainly in a good way, but got a little bit stale. I think personally it just needed a bit more a bit more adrenaline pumping, you know, it just needed a bit more action. And I just don't think that the Vardy felt threatening enough. I know that for them it was a threat, you know, it was threatening to wipe out the human race. We just didn't see this threat, you know. I feel like the threat was only spoken about between the characters. It wasn't necessarily shown to us. Or, yeah, it just didn't get the adrenaline pumping for me, but I still think it was a good episode, you know. I'm not saying that Smile's a bad episode, I think it was a good episode. But anyway, um, that, was, uh, that was my five minute reaction. So uh, that's it for now, guys, and I'll see you next week on Five Minute React when we review episode 3. Bye!